It's about to get a little bit PG-13 up in here. Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is on whipped cream e-liquid. flavors here the whipped cream line this is a line by Longhorn Vapor Company I've reviewed their e-liquids in the past and been absolutely in love with all the stuff they put out so they put out this line called whip cream with some very scantily clad ladies on the bottle the three flavors we have here are bondage foreplay and seduction they come in 0, 3, 6, or 12 milligrams. You can get them in 15 mil bottles for $10.99 or these 35 mil bottles for $21.99. I wasn't able to find a PGVG ratio on their website or on these bottles, but Longhorn Vapor Company tends to lean towards Max VGE liquids anyway. Here is the bottle art for the first flavor we are going to try today and that is seduction. I have some fresh cotton here in my Troll RDA. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the wicks a lot because I'm still learning like when you put new cotton in, it needs to be heavily saturated or the vape will not taste good. Ooh, so this is a buttery, creamy custard vape. And I looked and for the reviews that it gets on the website, it has a five star rating, but there was only like seven reviews. So seven people thought it was outstanding. <laughs> Do you think that's wet enough? Guys, here we go with the seduction flavor and it smells super good. Ooh, yeah, it is a sweet, creamy, smooth custard vape, but there's nothing else to it. So it's just straight up like, um, if you ate regular creme brulee, it kind of tastes like the soft custard part underneath the caramelized sweet part. It does have a little bit of that sweet glazed sugar type, but it's just like straight up custard. Mm. I mean, I'm not a huge custard fan, but for a custard flavor, this tastes pretty freaking good. It's really buttery and yummy. It really tastes like I have a mouthful of creme brulee. Next we are going to try bondage and this is a fruit and cream blend. Ooh, oh it smells like blueberry. Definitely getting blueberry and cream on there. This is the label art for bondage. Oh, over dripped a little. All right, here we go. It's, it says fruit and cream blend, but it, I only smell blueberries. Mmm. Yeah, I'm only really getting blueberry from this. Maybe kiwi, just mainly blueberry and cream. Mmm, very clean, very sweet. I actually really like e-liquids that are super sweet and sugary, as you guys know if you follow my channel. So when they're really sweet and sugary, I just wanna, all I wanna do is just vape it and get my sweet tooth fix. Mmm, oh, I like that flavor too. I'm going to say it's probably just blueberries and cream, even though it says fruit blend or fruit and cream blend. I believe that fruit is a blueberry. I don't know why they wouldn't just say blueberry and cream, but that's, that's what I'm getting. Bondage is definitely good. And last but not least, we are going to try some foreplay. This is a strawberry and lychee and cream vape. I love lychee vapes. I've never had lychee, lychee, shit, I've been saying it wrong again. <laughs> I've never had lychee fruit in real life. Ooh, oh, that smells so good. It brings me back to the days that I obsessed over strawberry and cream vapes. This is the label art for foreplay. Oh, it's so fragrant. Ooh, that is freaking good. It, I'm getting more strawberries and cream but the undertone of lychee is there because I, I know what it tastes like in a vape even though I haven't had the real thing I've had tons of lychee vapes and this is really good the strawberries and cream is definitely more prominent and it's actually really good I would chalk it up to like Oakwood's strawberry and cream e-liquid that I obsessed over for a minute I never actually got more of it because I just went on to a new company's strawberry and cream e-liquid but uh, that's definitely one of my favorite 
uh, flavor profiles out there that isn't like super sweet the bakery kind like my favorite type of fruit would be like my fruit flavor profile would be strawberries and cream and then my like top candy flavors are like caramel and butterscotch but oh my gosh this is good it's a bright yummy fresh strawberry and thick like homemade whipped cream and then an undertone of lychee flavor mm. thumbs up for all three of these e-liquids I don't know how I feel about the label art I mean sex sells the names are crazy kind of PG 13 rated R whatever um, but that's really beside the point I mean maybe by now that they've changed I don't know like because people change their label companies change their labels like before I even review their stuff sometimes um, so that's the only thing I would want to say is that that kind of like markets it that way but they are good flavors and even though it puts a fun twist to this video I just <laughs> the girls are like in their bras and panties like can it be a more in your face like and it's called whip cream like whoosh. actually it's not spelled like that it's spelled like whip like whipped cream but you get the point. I mean, the girls are all like, huh, oh, and it's all bondage, foreplay, seduction. I mean, come on. But they are good flavors nonetheless. I will put a link below this video where you can check them out if you want to for yourself. And if you've tried this line, comment below what you thought of the flavors. I am just one person and taste varies person to person. So I'd like to hear from you guys as well. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page as well as a second YouTube channel where I upload videos that are not vaping related So if you want to see more of me, you can check that out All those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about Please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys See I could go either way with the bottle art like I could be like a feminist and be like oh that's you know demeaning and that's misogynistic towards women because it's like totally sex sells or I could just be like hey that's a good freaking marketing idea because sex does sell like there's a point or I could be like oh those bitches are hot like I love that kind of stuff like it depends on what mood I'm in really on like what side of that type of bottle art I would choose. You decide.